Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini, the source, and I am a music producer who also happens to like anime and games. And we are back with another Hunter Hunter reaction. Very excited. I can't wait to get into it today. We are hopping into episode 41 through 44. And the way that I'm doing this is I'm only going to show you guys a smaller snippet of my reactions overall, about 10 to 15 minutes or so. And then at the end, I'm going to break down one of my favorite scenes from those batches of episodes from a music standpoint. And for this analysis, I broke down basically what I believe I think is the Phantom Troop theme song. So I think that's from episode 42. So that's going to be really cool. So definitely stick to the end for that very excited and before we get into it if you like this content and if you like the other content from the channel definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when i drop a video every week all the links are in the description below i have beats that i also drop every week go check out the beats and if you want to see more of the anime and music production content, then head on over to the Patreon page because that's where I drop those early and I have specific exclusive content as well. So y'all, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed these reactions, man. So I'll see y'all on the other side. Finally getting to the auction. That's going to be real fun. Wow, what a website. <laughs> Wow, what an interface. 20 million. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to give out the information for free. Ah. <laughs> the lowest bid. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, that's wild. That's what this is about. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> if only they had that money from uh, the last arc. Now, I thought all that money was spent, but I guess not all of it was. Wow. That is nowhere near. <laughs> <laughs> only the risky sites are profitable. That's funny. Okay, an escort mission. I know Kurapika's trying to get in as much as he can. It's interesting how Kurapika is trying to just sneakily weave his way in ever so slowly. Mmm, <laughs> but looks can be deceiving. Clearly. Looks can definitely be deceiving. I have no doubt about that. Especially the way this anime is so far. Ooh, I like this. More new characters. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Pakunoda, Shalinark, okay, and Finks. Mad characters all of a sudden. I love this choir. Whoa. It's kind of creepy, but cool at the same time. Mad random, y'all. I could be completely wrong, um, but I definitely think I just saw a Chia pet. Uh, that she had on her keychain or whatever that was. I could be completely wrong. Hopefully they show it again. I won't go back, but that that, that was something I just noticed. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Dang, she's using Nen to write that. That was quick. Kurapika always putting it down to the T. That makes a hundred percent sense. Oh, they're all part of the troop. Oh. 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 So that's her father, huh? Oh, I'm going to take a guess that's her father. <laughs> I'm assuming it is. All right. Let's see who this chief is. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. They're going to take everything? <laughs> Ooh, and this chief looks kind of badass, too. Whoa, the music fits this character so well, too. There's a lot of different agendas. Yeah, this stuff's about to go down at the auction. Wow. 
Defend and attack. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, we're finally going to see them reunite. That's going to be so fun. It's still funny how they call this York new. That was, that was clever. That was very clever. <laughs> oh. They look kind of creepy, to be honest. Those dolls. Now, because Kurapiko's on this mission, how's this going to work out how, in terms of how they meet up? Y'all, you know I have to pause this because we're in 2020. And I love the fact that we're looking at these cell phones. But look at these. These are the old school style cell phones. Some of y'all youngins don't even know about this, man. If you're my age or honestly 20s in general, then y'all understand because... Uh, <laughs> Ooh, the good old days with them phones, man. There were no such thing as touchscreen phones until the iPhone came out. Crazy. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Wow, they haven't really seen each other in quite some time. Yeah, they all did. They all did. <laughs> Kilo was like, really? Yeah, right. <laughs> Wow, they just really, <laughs> damn, <laughs> they were just like, yeah, buddy, we knew that. <laughs> I love how Kilo was saying these things. Uh, Uger, <laughs> what is, wait, 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 I'm sorry, y'all, I have to pause this again. U Uger? <laughs> That's fantastic. I love these little references to all the different technologies of the world. This is definitely ahead of its time because if this came out, what, in 1999, Google was definitely out already at that time. Uh, cell phones were also out, but they were very, very basic. This is just so awesome to me. <laughs> Uger. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Why are they disrespecting my boy Leorio like that, man? <laughs> Yo. That means his brother must not know how to use Nen then. Wow. Just like that? Yo, that's crazy. Auctioning is such an evil but intelligent thing. <laughs> I don't even know if Gun could do that. <laughs> All right, let's see how this is going to go. Oh, man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is great. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> this is faking it so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. That, that's so genius. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on. Oh no, she's different. She's different. Oh yeah, she's different. Automatically. Now he's gonna challenge. Yeah, cause she's different. Interesting. Nen versus Nen. I know Kilo can sense it too. She must have been testing him. There's no way. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. <laughs> he was not kidding about this. That was an interesting exchange with Gon and, uh, I forgot her name. I know Hisoka's about to get another, uh, schlong. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> uh, I love this choir, though. Ugh. This is great. It fits this so perfectly. I'm gonna pause real quick because I also r randomly wanted to mention, um, I love the character designs. Uh, the animation is incredible. Uh, you re it, they really capture just the intensity and of the characters really, really well. Um, just that little scene there, that was really intense for just because it's just showing the different characters. Uh, you could just see that Chief just looks like a character who's like, who means business. It's pretty cool stuff. 
I don't think Kuda Pika is gonna answer though. I like how Melody is, has the ability to do that. Oh. Oh, Melody's on his side. That's cool. I like Melody. That's cool. I like how they're able to read each other. That was a cool exchange. Dark Sonata. Oh, I really hope they explore this part. It's interesting because you hear a flute melody almost symbolizing that that might be the melody that they're talking about, but it's not. It doesn't, it doesn't sound dark enough. I love how they did this with the music. All right. Oh, a shocking tragedy. Uh-oh. I wonder what that means. You know what's so crazy? This just resembles like real world auctions, like low key. They're very corrupt. Yeah. It's literally just like that in real life. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. My. Ho. Dang. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo. Wow. Everybody's what? Yo. Oh, see this girl. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. She's about to dis... She's going to kill her, too. Oh, my God. No way. Dang, just like that? Just like that? Y'all gotta be kidding me. Wow. Wow. So they're about to get rid of all the evidence. Oh, no. What happens when she eat when that thing eats up the people? Wow. This 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 was a true tragedy. <laughs> oh. Wow, they really just killed everybody in that auction like it was nothing. <laughs> Who told who what? <laughs> I like that. Okay. This is wild. Oh, maybe they could have had a shadow be secretly kind of amongst them. Just one of them. Oh, here come the shadow beasts. Kuda Pika already knows. Kuda Pika already knows this. There's no way that he doesn't. Come on. <laughs> kidnapped <laughs> if you only knew I wouldn't oh boy this is gonna end badly wow wow oh it's over oh <laughs> oh boy here we go this is crazy man this turned up real quick I did not expect that I'll be honest with y'all. Y'all, dude, get out the way. Up, uh, nope. Yep. Ooh. All right, all right. This is a waste of your time, buddy. We already know this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he stopped that instantly. Um, what then category is he? Yeah, y'all were talking about how co well they were all cocky and strong before. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, a shadow beast. Okay. All right. Build up to a fierce battle. Here we go. Oh man. Whoa. <laughs> Just wrecking everybody right now. Oh. Oh, looks like a battle's about to. A strew. 
I don't know. The Phantom Troop looks like they're strong as heck. I'm just surprised Kota Pika hasn't picked up on this yet. And that net is that net is pretty powerful. Wow, how disrespectful. They're playing cards. <laughs> wow. They, they weren't kidding when he said he wanted to be the strongest man. Big Bang Impact. Fist of Destruction. It feels like it. Woo. Ah, there's the trigger. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this guy. <ain't... laughs> what? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this is what? This guy ate this guy's head? Damn, I thought they had control of this battle. <laughs> what a ruthless guy. What a ruthless guy. Oh. What? This guy's versatility is wild. Oh. Dang. Kuda Pika is mad. Is this a calming uh, sensation that's supposed to be com coming from this? Wow. That's tough. Wow. Kuda Pika's that confident, huh? Well, we haven't seen the extent of his power. I am curious to know how strong Kurapika has gotten for real, though. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> what a way <laughs> to avoid death. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. I think Kurapika knows Geo. I, I'm, I think. Wow. They really took care of the Shadow Beast. That's crazy, though. I didn't even say they. He did. This guy must be legit. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. These episodes... These episodes were it, man. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed those reactions. Of course, if you want more of that or you want a little bit more of the reaction, then definitely go hit the link in the description and check the Patreon page because I post the reactions as well as the music analysis. And that's what we're going to get into. My favorite part. Really excited about this one because um, now we got a little bit of an introduction to the Phantom Troop. I'm going to assume that what we're about to listen to now is the actual theme. And I believe it did play maybe once or twice beforehand. I don't remember. But I just wanted to go through it because it's really, really cool. Um, I'm just going to narrate it really because it's really just a nice traditional choir and orchestra playing some beautiful, really dark, but awesome music. So like, let's check it out. So before I uh, <laughs> lost my mouse there, let's let's play this real quick. All right. So the scene is starting right now and the music should be starting any second. Yeah, it's basically when the leader comes in. There we go. <laughs> and there goes Hisoka getting his uh, excitement. So, this is really cool. I love the melody for, for this theme. It is so cool. Sounds like some sort of flute instrument just playing something really some it's just very smooth, right? And it's very orchestral, right? Playing a bunch of different chords and the chords are pretty pretty complex in a way. Um I'm not gonna get too much into the super details of it. Oh 
But one of the things that what makes this so dark, right? I'm going to pause this again is, you know, the this is obviously in a minor key, right? So you can kind of hear it. It, it's, it, it sounds ominous. It sounds dark. That's because it's in a minor key. And there's a lot of cool stuff where if you pay attention, the bass note, you know, plays a note and then it plays a note right under it, which I explained before in a previous reaction video where it's just basically a chromatic thing, which gives it this cool kind of effect of mysteriousness going on within the music right and um there's a lot of other cool stuff going on and um like i said i don't want to get too much into it but uh there's stuff where like the chords kind of do a weird thing where it transitions into another chord from another key on from the note from a, a specific note within the original key <laughs> long story short they're called secondary dominance but we're not going to get into all of that but um i just wanted to i just wanted to point that out because that's what makes this so cool um it's really cool and then you hear the choir the choir playing the same melody as well and what's interesting here is that the original melody that was being played just 10 seconds ago now is being played, but it's played in another key. So that's how you already know that the the music kind of transition w in which I was kind of talking about where the key kind of shifts a little bit. And there's a lot of multiple ways in which music can do that. And I'll break it down very, very slightly. I'm not a super expert on this, but basically the idea is if you have a scale, right? And then you basically have... Um, let's just say you pick the fifth note of the scale. Um, in a lot of traditional music, basically, you let's just say you play a chord that, that has the fifth note of the scale. Basically, you could take the fifth note and you can now uh, build a chord off of that fifth note. So basically, that's called secondary dominant because the idea is you're going to take the fifth note of the scale of the fifth note of the original key. Sounds super confusing, right? But that that's kind of just a basic breakdown. So in this situation, that's what it kind of sounds like in a way. So it plays, it plays a note, and then all of a sudden it plays one uh, note or one chord in the key, and then it shifts because now, I guess the way it's orchestrated, you have a series of um, chords that are being played from a different note within the original key. And with that being said, it kind of transitions over. Sounds super confusing to you guys, but, <laughs> you know, it's kind of one of the things in music theory that happens a lot, especially in old traditional music. And this has a very old traditional vibe. You know, you, if you think about some of the old classic music like Johann Sebastian Bach and all that stuff, that's kind of the, the vibe that I get from just listening to stuff like this. And what's interesting too is that the way the music is going, it's very smooth. You got the orchestra, and then it went to, it does another transition. And as it does a transition, it goes into a completely new kind of phrase, which is really cool. But the most important thing I want you guys to get from this is that this theme symbolizes the Phantom Troop. You hear this, you know it's the Phantom Troop. It symbolizes power symbolizes mystery that's the feeling that i get when i listen to this and maybe you guys do as well right um there's just such a mystery behind to uh this group of people you know they're they're people who go and they steal things right and they they go about it in such a way that nobody really knows like how, what's going on with these people even though people know of the phantom troop you know what i mean so it's really interesting And this is what I really like. <laughs> now, this is cool. So, as I've said before, there's a part where crescendos, which crescendos basically getting louder. And then it kind of gets to this cool part. Now, what's interesting is, once again, this is another situation where... Uh, you have the the music playing and then you have a nice resolve that you feel like it's about to happen. You can kind of hear it. And once again, I don't want to get too 
you know too deep into it but Basically, what I've heard was what's called a five chord. And the five chord is, once again, the fifth note of the original key of the scale. And what's very common is most songs in the world, they always end with a chord progression, what's called one five one. Basically, pretty simple. You have the original chord of the first note of the scale, right? Then you get to the fifth note of the scale. That fifth note is basically kind of that chord that leads back to one. It's very, very common. You can hear it almost in like all music. Any song that has a resolve, you're most likely going to hear a five, one resolve, right? So that's kind of what you kind of get from this specifically. Um, how do you know? Because I'm gonna kind of hum it for you guys. It goes dum, dum. So if you ever hear like uh, any music there's a, like that has a resolve, it kind of goes dun dun, you know, something like that, right? So similar to here, you, you can hear that. But before I get to the resolve, instead of going back to the original note in the original scale, it kind of goes, I think, to the next note, which is the sixth note in the scale. I'll have to listen to it to see if I'm exactly right. But when it does that, it kind of continues on, which is really interesting. And it kind of gives off that, once again, mysterious vibe. That's what I like about this. These, these indication of the chords, you know, that's what gives off this mysteriousness. And that's what makes this Phantom th uh, Troop theme so, so cool. Um... Also, side note, y'all, I know a lot of this is very, very, very intense here, what I'm talking about. And, you know, maybe one day what I'll do is I'll go back to this theme and I'll give you guys a visual representation. But just to keep things going, I just want you guys to really more pay attention to obviously the scene and how this stuff going on with the music just enhances the scene much more incredibly. Um, because I really have to listen back to see if I got these chords right, but I'm just kind of going based off my ear right now. Now, here was cool. The music stops. Right? Now watch this. Or listen. Hey. So now, the theme completely changes in terms of intensity. It's the same theme. It's exactly the same theme. Same melody. But notice how it's much faster and much more intense. And that's what's so cool about it. And I, I think it just adds more to the, the intensity of the characters. And also it adds just to this, the whole mysteriousness about the Phantom Troop again. And how dark and how powerful these characters are. That's what makes this so cool. So now it just goes crazy over here. Fallout Orchestra, everything going on. <laughs> Woo! All right, there's a lot going on here. And I said woo because uh, there's a part where a French horn does what's called a rip. And the idea is a French horn will play a note and then they'll try to play another note. But in between that note, they kind of just play a, a series of different notes all at the same time. And you get this weird do. You get this. Uh, <laughs> I know it's going to sound weird, but the horn goes woo. -woo and that's that's called a rip. I know because I, I used to be a French horn player back in the day, but you know, that's for another conversation. <laughs> but um yeah, let's let's continue this on. Just intensity. It keeps getting intense, 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 intense. And there goes our horn doing the rip again. And then here you can tell that the song's about to finalize because you can hear the everything, right? Now you hear the choir just going crazy. You hear the crash at the end. And let's see how the song ends. I'm curious to know if it's going to end um, kind of the way I was describing here from before. Ah. <laughs> Ah, it almost see this is a great example here because you think it's about to end as those uh you know as the orchestra's go doing those uh notes right there at the end and then all of a sudden it doesn't end exactly and then it finally ends so once again they're continuously playing with the chord progressions here trying to make you think that it's going to end but it doesn't actually end and i and for those of you guys who may not know music all you need to know is that any song and in any any song ever created 
whenever there's chords, there's always the first note, which is the original note, which always has the original chord. And the way to resolve in any sort of music is to eventually get back to that chord, right? And that's exactly what happens here. Everything going on eventually leads back to the last chord, which is really interesting. And if you want to break that down more, you can even break it more in symbolism here. But, you know, I, I just wanted to point this stuff out. Um, just because I thought this was really interesting. One day I want to really listen to this and probably study this song. I might do a real, real true analysis. I don't know when that will be. That might be for another video series I'm thinking about. But more importantly, I hope, um, that you guys kind of get the idea of how music continues to work with these scenes. I'm going to say this in every video, but, you know, listening to the different elements of the music really makes, uh, each, um, scene worked work differently and also makes the uh solidifies a character's um importance or significance within the series the phantom troop is legit it's serious that's why this theme is so 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 interesting and i and i love the fact that you know the the composer decided to go in this direction it just fits the character so well the entire phantom troop so that's all I really wanted to say. So I hope you guys like that. It's a little bit more complicated than I, I don't mean to get too, too deep into it. But um, once again, I really want to sit down one day and just listen and see if I, you know, could hear some of the stuff that's going on. Because I can tell you trying to nail it right on point. It's pretty difficult. Not going to lie. Um, and I'm sure I may have gotten a couple of things a little wrong here and there. But, you know, one day we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get into that. But... I hope you guys did enjoy this music analysis. All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the videos. And of course, if you're looking for more of the content, hit the links in the description below. I have my website, www.iamdesource.com for those who are interested in looking at some of the beats, whether you're a content creator or if you're just looking for some music that you want to use for your own stuff, definitely go check that out. And of course, once again, if you like this content, definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. In addition, I also have the Patreon page where a lot of my content comes out early in addition to some exclusive stuff. So definitely go check that all out, all right? So until the next video, don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. My name is Robertini, the source, and I am out. <laughs>